life resumes. Anniversary night. A year has passed since I discovered that I was a descendant of the Silverlight race. I became appointed under the goddesses to protect the legendary Triforce along with the Hero of Time and became one of the most powerful in all of Hyrule. Though life resumed between Link and I, our son was now a year and a half old. He was now walking, and has learned to speak certain words. Epina gave birth to her cult just two weeks after the Water. temple incident, and is now pregnant again. The beautiful cult she gave birth to is female, with a brown body, white mane and tail, with a black muscle, and black patches around her hooves. The youngling is now a year old. Link has prospered in the military. He is now fleet general of the king's entire army. Link was promoted after he stopped an assassination attempt on the king's life six months ago. Lily and Navi have been keeping us protected. Over the last year, they had helped keep our livestock safe from the wolfos that still roamed the Lost Woods. Our farm was prospering. Her farm has prospered, her name is respected, and her children are fed and safe. She lived as she thought she should. The crops were producing fine vegetables that year, and our fruit trees were producing unusual sized fruit. And now I'm four months pregnant. Our life together was nothing like ever before. The love Link and I share bonded even deeper over the last year. We had been married for almost two years now. Our second anniversary was in... In just a few days, I had been planning four days to have a very special anniversary this year. So I had gone to Kantara City to get Link a very special gift. I had saved my rupees for the entire year, and I managed to get him a gold-hilted dagger encrusted with jewels and a gold dragon pendant. I was going to make this year one to remember. Then the day had arrived. The day of our anniversary. I nearly had spent the entire day preparing for the most romantic evening ever. I had Zelda take Link Jr. Ali and our fairies to stay with her in both the castle for the night. So Link and I could be alone. While I prepared Dinkna, I got into a sexy red dress and got all the extras we would need to have a memorial night. But then I lit all the candles around the room and put out the oil lamps to create a romantic setting. <laughs> After I finished preparing dinner, I lit the candles on the table, put the food out, and waited for Link. About ten minuets later, I heard a horse coming up to the stable. I removed my apron and rushed to the door to greet my hero home. As Link entered the door, his eyes widened. Oh my goddesses! You look sexy tonight, my love! He whispered into my ear as he pulled me into his arms, kissing me forcefully. Then we drew apart and I looked into his sexy jeweled eyes. I love you, my sweet love. How I missed you today. And I as well, Link said as he handed me a bouquet of roses. Then he pulled me inside, closing the door. When he scanned the room, he was in shock. Wow, my love, this all looks great, Link said as his eyes sparkled under the candlelight. Happy anniversary, my love, I said as I handed him the gift. Thank you, sweetheart, he returned as he put his gift down on the table. Then he went into the pouch he had at his belt and pulled out a gold box. Happy anniversary too, my goddess, Link said softly as he handed the golden wrapped box to me. I took it and opened it to reveal a gold necklace with a gold Triforce pendant encrusted with diamonds and matching earrings. Oh my goddesses, I just love it! I cried as tears welled up in my eyes. <laughs> then Link took the necklace and put it around my neck. It looks beautiful on you, Link said as he started kissing my slender neck. As he bit down gently on my neck, I turned my head to face him, as I stroked the back of his neck. <laughs> Link, you should go open your gift, I whispered softly into his pointed ear. Link moved his head down and started kissing my shoulder. You're right, my love! I'm going to open it now! He walked back over to the table and took the box in his hand, then pulled the ribbon off and opened it.
Holy crap! Oh my goddesses, I love you! He said as he held the gold dagger encrusted with jewels in his hands. Taking the dagger, he swished it into the air a few times before putting it into the sheath I provided for him. Then I walked into his arms again and looked into his rippling blue eyes. Did you see what else was in the box? I said softly as I put my hands against his muscular chest. There's more! Link said with surprise. Look under the tissue, my love. Rustling the tissue aside, his eyes widened with shock as he held the gold dragon pendant in his broad hand. You're the greatest, my dear wife! Link said as he grabbed me and pulled me into his arms once again. 